With concerns about the immediate outlook for the restaurant industry, hospitality platform Union is looking to lend a helping hand. The all-in-one app is set to increase restaurant revenue by up to 30% and can reduce customer wait time by 80%. Let's bring in Alex Broker, union founder and CEO. Alex, it's good to talk to you. You get the sense that there's a lot of restaurant owners that are looking at the headlines around the Omicron variant right now saying, here we go again. Uh, I'm just curious what kind of what you have heard from restaurants in terms of foot traffic, to what extent they've already been affected from those who say, maybe I'm going to rethink my restaurant plans. Yeah, I think there's terror across the industry again. What's going to happen? Are we going to go back into a shutdown mode? Um, They barely survived the first two waves of the pandemic, and now we're facing uncertainty yet again. So across the board, there's certainly some panic and terror across our portfolio. We've really adapted new habits um, throughout the pandemic in terms of, you know, what we do when we go out to eat. And and a lot of us familiar now with the QR code because uh, the menus are no longer there as well. Um, You've talked about the return of that, the big, big bounce back that we have seen. What kind of growth has that spurred? Uh, Amazing growth across the board, not only growth for our company, but just guest satisfaction, restaurant sales, as you mentioned, reduced wait times. It's a situation where uh, six years of consumer technology adoption and payments happened in six months. You show a QR code to every consumer, they know exactly what to do now. And and frankly, it saved uh, and can save the hospitality industry. I mean, talk to me about the cost savings that you see. What restaurants have been able to take out as a result of that technology in place? Yeah, there's a a huge, as as we talk about the great resignation, uh, a million hospitality workers are never coming back to this industry. And so as a result in the restaurant business, you how many times have we all walked into a restaurant where an entire section is now closed? Or you sit down to have what you think is going to be a great experience at your favorite restaurant now that you finally get to go out again and you wait 10 minutes for a server to walk up to you. And so you, as a result, uh, negative reviews at restaurants are up 800 percent and it's mm. all due to the staffing shortage. And so as a result, negative reviews are up, um, sales are down because you don't have servers to actually serve those guests. And moreover, your guests are just upset because they're having a bad service expectation. So integrated commerce platforms like Union, which were born to really kind of all out of the same block of aluminum to have an exceptional guest experience, an exceptional ordering experience, exceptional loyalty experience, right when you walk in the door, uh, is, is what how we started the company, what we're bringing back to restaurants to hopefully save the industry. Yeah, I mean, you hate to see the restaurants going through the same thing they've been experienced over the last two years of the pandemic. But what you just just described there um, seems to suggest a significant upside for Union specifically. What's the outlook going into 2022? Yeah, 100 percent. We're just crossing a thousand venues now. We think with our technology platform we will be in over four thousand venues by the end of next year, all in a win win situation for the venue owners. Uh, that can get back to operating the way that they should be with 75% less staff. So I think it's going to be a huge win for Union and a huge win for our customers. And, you know, finally, I've heard you say a few times talking about the technology in the staffing shortages. And, you know, we've talked a lot about potential automation, how technology could really start to fill some of that void. Um, in the face of these labor shortages. How much of that do you think is going to be permanent? How do you see this restaurant experience evolving as a result of what we're going through right now? Yeah, great question. I don't think we're going to go back. I don't think there's going to be a huge resurgence in staff. The staffing shortages will continue. And in terms of guest experience and uh, enjoyment, they're now used to ordering and paying when they want. The average guest on our platform now orders in 42 seconds once they sit down, compared to eight to 10 minutes in a traditional experience. That's better for customers, they get to order when they want, better for the venue owners, they get increased sales, uh, and better for the staff because when sales go up, their tips go up. So I think this is here to stay. And uh, and in terms of removing inefficient processes around the order and, and the payment, when you think about in the US particularly, we still hand a credit card to a stranger who walks away for 10 minutes to bring you back your card so you can sign it. It's, uh, it's, it's crazy when you think about that that still occurs in this country. 
And so we believe that the inefficient processes of ordering when the guest wants, paying when the guest wants are here to stay. Yeah, it is uh, it is interesting to see when you, when you think about how things are done um, internationally, especially in Asia in terms of payments, but uh, significant leaps we made on that front. Alex Broker, union founder and CEO, appreciate the time today.